Welcome, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you or teach you on how to unblock websites on school Chromebook. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. Unblocking websites on a school Chromebook may not be possible or may be against the school's policy. School networks often have web filtering in place to restrict access to certain websites for educational or security reasons. However, if you have a legitimate need to access a particular website that is blocked, you can try the following methods, keeping in mind that this may not always work depending on your school restrictions. So the first, first thing that you can do is, the, is to use a proxy website. Proxy websites act as intermediaries between your browser and the blocked websites, allowing you to access blocked content. Search for web proxy or proxy server on a search engine and you will find a list of proxy websites. Enter the URL of the block website in the proxy website search bar to access it through the proxy server. However, note that some school networks may also block popular proxy websites. Utilize a VPN service. Virtualized private networks or VPNs create encrypted connections between your device and a remote server, masking your online activities and bypassing network restrictions. Look for VPN services that offer Chromebook-compatible apps or browser extensions. Install and configure the VPN on your Chromebook and connect to a server location that is not blocked by your school network. Keep in mind that using VPNs may violate your school's acceptable use policy, so proceed to, with caution and only use VPNs if allowed and necessary. Try Tor Browser The Tor Browser is a web browser that enables anonymous browsing and can potentially bypass certain root network restrictions. You can download and install the Tor browser on your Chromebook and use it to access blocked websites. However, some schools may also block the use of Tor or consider it a violation or of their policies. So the next thing or the last thing that you can do is to request access from the school's IT department. If you have a legitimate educational need, to access a blocked website, you can try reaching out to your school's IT department or the responsible staff to explain your situation and request access. They may be able to make an exception or provide an alternative solution. Remember that attempting to bypass school network restrictions may have consequences including disciplinary actions. It is essential to understand and comply with your school's acceptable use policies regarding internet access. If you are unsure about what is allowed or needs to access a specific website for edu educational purposes, it is best to consult with your school's administration, administration or IT department for guidance. And that's it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video. See you on the next one and have a great day!